Mr. Picard, as you see over here, runs the palace in which Napoleon III uh, lives and he's going to throw a party for Napoleon and it should be the best party of the century. Mr. Picard, am I also invited? Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to try next time. Maybe I um, um, meet the conditions then. But what we're going to do is we're going to help Mr. Picard with, uh, you know, certain decisions because he has to decide on the number of tickets to sell the price per ticket to charge because this is a paid party you're you know you, you can't just enter you have to pay for the ticket he has to decide on how much to spend on decoration for the party he has to decide on uh, how much to spend on personnel for the party so we're gonna help him with that and we're gonna teach you in the process how to work with a certain tool uh, called solver now you will find solver under the data tab. Okay, so when you go to the data tab over here, you will find solver over here. But solver, and by the way, also what you see here on top, these are um, add-ins that you have to unlock in Excel. So they are not installed by default in Excel. You have to unlock them. Okay, now how does the unlocking works? You first go to file and then you click on file subsequently you go to options here at the bottom and you click on that here you go to add-ins click on that manage excel add-ins click on go by the way there's also another way but we're going to do it like this and then make sure that solver add-in is ticked okay this one is not relevant at the moment but this one is relevant so solver add-in is ticked and you click on OK. And at that point, you should be able to see it in the data tab. Now, before we work with it, let me explain you something. Okay, so we have certain decisions to take. We have to decide how many tickets are we going to sell. Then we have to decide what is going to be the price per ticket. Then we're going to decide, okay, how much are we going to spend on decoration? And then we also have to decide how much are we going to spend on uh, personnel? What is the budget that we're going to have for personnel? Are, are we going to have five butlers walking around, five waiters walking around, or 50 or 100? We have to decide that. And then, based on that, profit is calculated. Now, let me show you how profit is calculated. We take B1 and we multiply it by B2. So B1 is the number of tickets, B2 is the price per ticket. So we take the number of tickets that we sell and we multiply them with the price. Per ticket okay so that gives us basically what we earn but we also have costs so we have to subtract those costs these costs you will find over here uh, in b3 namely the decoration expenses and in b4 namely the personnel expenses so that is what we do here we subtract from our earnings b3 and b4 and that is how we arrive at profit now suppose that you don't want this party to become too crowded so you and in, you intend to invite 100 uh, people so you want to sell 100 tickets now suppose that you have a goal as well with your profit and uh, the goal is that you want to make 5000 francs of profit francs is supposedly the local currency at that time in france okay so you want to make 5000 of profit uh, you want to sell 100 tickets now you need help with an advice as to the price per ticket, decoration expense, and personnel expenses. Solver can help you with that. Go to Solver and click it. This is what you see. First of all, it asks us, what is the objective? Okay, And the objective is that we want to make 5,000 here. Okay, So the profit should be 5,000. So the objective is this, this cell. Okay? And what do we want? We want a value of 5,000. Okay. We can also choose, instead of having one value as a goal, we can also say, hey, we want to have a maximum value that we can get here or the minimum value. But in this case, I want a value. I want to, my goal is 5,000. Okay. And then it asks me, okay, which cells should I change to achieve that? Well, I don't want you to change cell B1 because that is for me a given. I want to sell 100 uh, tickets but i do want you to change these okay and then i say solve this issue for me subsequently it gives me a solution and says hey you want to make five thousand okay here i give you a solution 
sell these 100 tickets, charge 50 per ticket. That's 5,000 that you earn there. Spend nothing on decoration, spend nothing on personnel. So the party is going to be horrible. It's, it's just going to be an empty room. And <laughs> people come in and they say, hey, where's the party? And then you have 5,000. So it solved it, but obviously is not a very realistic scenario. So what we want to do is we want to add some realistic constraints here, such as, you know, spend at least a certain amount on decoration or spend at least a certain amount on, uh, on personnel because you cannot have a party without, you know, people uh, who work there and, and do stuff. And obviously you need to spend something on decoration. So let's add those constraints. So we're going to opt here for restore original values and click OK. So we're going to add some constraints. Go to solver again. In this part, you're going to add the constraints. OK, now let's add the first constraint. The first constraint should be that we want decoration expense, which is what you see here, to be at least, uh, let's say, 50 francs. OK, so this uh, symbol currently uh, showing means uh, smaller than or equal to. This one is obviously equal, equal to. This one is at least. And this one, by the way, if you're curious, this is what you would use if you want as a constraint that it should be a, a whole number. So one, two, three, four, five, instead of, for instance, 1.6 or 2.6 or whatever. So this is what you would use in a situation like that. But that's not relevant for me. I want to say, hey, this uh, cell B3 should be at least, uh, I, I forgot what, 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 what we said. I think it should be at least 50. Yeah? Anyway, if I said something else, then I change it now to 50. So we want at least 50 francs spent on decoration. Okay. And um, if you want to add another constraint, you can do that. Click on add. Let's add another constraint. Let's say that also for personnel expenses, we want to spend at least, uh, let's say 100 there. I'm going to click on OK and then solve. Click on OK. So now it gives us another solution. And this time it's a little bit more realistic. Okay, because, you know, at least we spent something on personnel so we can have some personnel working there. And at least we spent something on decoration so it's not an empty, you know, uh, factory hall or something like that. And then the price that we should charge per ticket is 51.5. And then we get our profit goal of 5,000.